Welcome back. As we mentioned, it is day three of deliberations in Bill Cosby's sexual assault trial after jurors have failed to reach a verdict on Tuesday. And during the trial, Cosby has been supported by a number of friends and fellow actors, including Keisha Knight Pulliam. She, of course, played his daughter Rudy <laughs> on The Cosby Show, and Keisha is with us this morning exclusively. Good morning. Good morning. Obviously, you have a long history with Bill Cosby. Why was it important to you to be at the trial? And did you have any reservations about it, given the nature of these accusations? It was important for me to be there because at the end of the day, I truly believe you're innocent till proven guilty. And that's just not the man that I ever experienced. And I just thought about it. How would I want to be treated if, God forbid, I was in that situation? And the true test of family, of friendship, of, of just loyalty comes. It's, it's easy to be there for someone when things are good, when business is good, when money is good, when all of these things. But I just felt like... I wanted to do what I would have wanted to receive. You have um, a special insight into Bill Cosby. You were yeah. there for the first day and you've been communicating with him a little bit over yeah. the course of the trial. What would you say his state of mind is right now? I feel, um, I can't speak to this exact moment, but my interactions with him, he's been in good spirits. Um, he's been upbeat. You know, knowing Mr. Cosby is to know that, you know, he's a comedian. There's always that kind of sense of laughter. And I was grateful to see that his spirit hadn't been broken as a result of this process because it's arduous. Like, there's nothing happy, there's nothing good about it for either side. Um, either side. It's just not a good situation. I know you said you'll accept the verdict yeah. no matter what it is. If he is found guilty, will that change your opinion of him at all? You know, I'm going to have to just cross that bridge when I come there, come to it. Um, I'll be disappointed. However, it won't change the love because when you have family, people falter, people make mistakes, things happen, but in no way is that condoning sexual assault. As a woman, a graduate of Spelman College, which is an all-women's um, college, uh, my foundation, the Camp Kizzy Foundation, all about empowerment and self-esteem for youth, and being the mother to a daughter, you know, it's nothing that I take lightly or that I condone in any way, shape, or form, but he's still a person. He's still a father, a husband, a parent, someone's son. Did mm -hmm. you learn anything in the course of the trial? Obviously, the jury is out, and we don't know what the jury will decide, right. but there was evidence in the trial in which Mr. Cosby acknowledges, for example, mm -hmm. giving drugs to women mm -hmm. that he wanted to have sexual relations with. When you hear that, how do you square that with the person that you know? Well, what I can say is I was there for the opening arguments for both the prosecution and the defense. Um, I didn't hear the testimony which you're specifically speaking to, but what I do know um, is the judge was very adamant that the jury's job, and it's not ours because we don't hear all of the evidence, but they're the ones who are going to hear every piece, every shred of evidence, and it's for them to make a decision, not based on bias um, or anything else except for the facts of the case so and I trust that they'll do a good job at that yeah a lot of people I, I guess are looking at Bill Cosby now and wondering did we really know him they see that mm -hmm. that magazine article and you have all of these accusers who have come forward how do you feel about that well I feel like this you know everyone has their own experiences and things that they've done you know whether they're proud of them or they're not and he's clear that yes he has been unfaithful to his wife and something that I've said before that piece is between the two of them and the only people who know exactly what happened were the two people in the room at that given time and ultimately if she chooses to forgive him for those things that's between the two of them um, and it's just a hard situation. Mm -hmm. However you however you toss it, however you slice it, however you look at it, it's not a it's not a favorable situation. Well, Keisha Knight Blame, it's good to have you here and have your perspective. I know you're yeah. a new mom and it's I really, am. really nice I to am. have you with us. Thanks, Thank Keisha. You. Thank, Thank you. you. Hello today, fans. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Subscribe by clicking that button down there and click on any of the videos over here to watch the latest interviews, show highlights, and digital exclusives.